Hello, Twitch. Welcome in, everyone. Happy Friday to you. Oh, welcome in, Evangeline. You're in here early. Happy to see you. 
Will Poker, happy to see ya. Bun Buns, happy to see ya. Welcome in, Keladon. Ooh. So let's get some coffee going. I'm... As usual, I've been rushing around trying to get things cleaned up. Get everything proper. For start of stream. Um, I'm already well into sweating here. And, uh... So let's... Take a moment and calm down. Happy to see everyone in here early. Welcome in, JBJs. So I'm doing tacos all this week, thanks to Bun Bun's gracious uh, suggestion, and uh, I'm going to have some fun with it. So tonight we're doing cheeseburger tacos, uh, and we're doing chicken bacon ranch tacos on Sunday, but I'm going to throw a twist into that, but you're going to have to show up to see that one. Um, I still haven't fi decided on what we're going to do for Tuesday. torn between doing what I want to do and doing what I should do. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of thinking the last day, the last Tuesday is, the, is going to be the seafood from freezer, but I am very tempted to just do regular corn tortilla tacos. Carrots, sweet onions, a couple of ways you can do that Evangeline.
I didn't necessarily figured it out. She figured it out, folks. What was it? Sucks. Happy Friday to you. I had to think about what day it was there. So first project this evening going to be making our tortilla dough. Iced coffee that tastes like Oreos. At that point, you should probably just get something with Oreos that they just straight inject caffeine into it. Why need the coffee? Oh, so you're saying the iced coffee itself tastes like Oreos, which is interesting. Mmm, that's looking rather dry to me already. Probably used for flour anyways. I don't use this for much else. so much better now that I'm done doing all the dishes. The uh, fan's now blowing on me over here. It's not necessarily blowing on me when I'm back here. So we need some lard. Do I have any...
I suspect this is bacon fat and not straight lard. It'll still do the job, especially for cheeseburger tacos. Yeah, I can't tell if there's one or two in the house right now that I need to get rid of. They snuck in the other day. I probably just cleaned up all of his former food sources, so he's probably annoyed at me too. <sighs> Oof. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get the... I, I mean, we're at the end of summer here. I don't know if we really... I need, really need to worry about getting anything, but... Actually, let's see if I can hear some to just go outside. Give me a moment here. Where'd it go? Stop moving around now. And then we want some warm water. Oh, it's right here. We weren't supposed to go that far, camera. Yeah, hello there, Mr. Window. In my ugly outdoor yard. So half cup of warm water into our cup and a half of flour and our lard. Welcome in, Ozzy. Nice, Ozzy. Always nice to sleep back in your own bed. That's awesome planning, Evangeline. I've... In so many ways just fallen into the routine of streaming that... get back to planning there, there was a point pre pandemic where I had menus a good month out ahead of time on the regular
and rinse my hands off here. Yeah. There we go, camera. Camera's confused for a moment there. Which are getting really pricey right now. I was astonished at the store the other day to see cloves of garlic for five dollars I forgot we had to do the battle. I cleaned my hands and went back to kneading. Oh. Mm, let's go with haste. It didn't place my spell? Game is not cooperating tonight. Another one that I saw, actually just today, Bun Bun's just sweeping everything here, uh, was 32 ounce bottle of Heinz ketchup was $9 and change. Meanwhile, generic store brand organic uh, ketchup was like three and change. It should for you, JBJs. It 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 should be working for you. Yeah, it was nine and change for organic Heinz versus um, organic store brand for three and change. I'm going to put a monk out here.
a couple spots up here for anything off to this side anyone wants a road a quick go after something over here or something most of us gonna be over here okay Yeah, I catch up is one of those things where the consistency, the quality of the tomatoes, the quality of the vinegar they're using, uh, it's all, it all matters. And it's very easy for even the same plant to, you know, switch from making Heinz to some off-brand because the tomatoes, you know, drop below their standards. It's what happens a lot of the time, actually. Well, I wasn't budget shopping for it either, Clockwork. It's not like I'm online price shopping or that was what I literally saw in the store today. Okay, where are we with things? We don't have a lot to do to put this all together. This is a pretty simple dinner here tonight, folks. I think we're going to start with putting that back with the dirty stuff because it's not very clean. Well, you'll, you'll see tonight why I'll go through my ketchup probably a bit more. Considering I basically don't use ketchup as ketchup. <laughs> I do on occasion, but it's a rare occasion. It's like, you know, french fries or uh, tater tots or, you know, something straight up with like, which I don't eat a lot. I feel like this is a deal. I feel like this is a steal here. This was, um, grass fed beef for 630, which I know for bulk that's expensive, but for by the pound, At least around here, that's usually a little closer to seven to eight. I am in Northern California, Clockwork. I am in Sonoma County, California. And I've also gone through with people in the past about the cost differences and, and breakdowns, why I often like I break down half pigs and have my chest freezer. Um, and yeah, mid, well, I don't know why I, I don't, that's only, I think that's more of a fallacy of industry than reality because I mean, we're growing cattle here. It's not like it's a long distance. It's only long distance because the industry is making it long distance.
So I'll hit these with some salt. Papa. Chili powder. Paprika. Garlic. Onion. about doing this. Should have just thrown this all in a bowl together. This is not the best, this, like, I mean, you saw me take it out of a vacuum pack cube. It is not the finest beef in the area. I have gotten much better ground beef from uh, local farmers. I mean, the beef that I had from quarter steer that I bought was higher quality than this. Um, however, this is also 85%, so, I mean, it's a controlled amount of fat in there. I want these to be almost sort of square-shaped. plate here is a way to sort of flatten the edges. Probably not the most appetizing photo at the moment. But I did want to add some, like, actual taco spice to my burger meat. I hear that about Alberta, actually, JBJs.
can't say that I have experienced it myself, but I hear that you guys have good beef. Is it chili? I could have put some cumin in with the meat now that I'm thinking about that. J random welcome man so we got our sliced onion we need some sliced tomato got some nice dry farmed tomatoes here Sword had them in nice, cute little pint containers, expecting people to take a whole, well, probably quart containers. Uh, but, you know, like the berry containers, those like cardboard ones. I think in implying people are going to take whole ones of them when they were selling them by the pound. I just stole a couple of the nice ones that I wanted and went with that. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. 
just feeling considerably less right. Nice, Evangeline. But speaking of turmeric, we have these lovelies from our last stream. Turmeric, dill, onion, and pepper pickles. Ozzy from home. Some of these are not destined to make it onto the final product, but I do need a couple more pickles because those all looked so good to put on the final thing. because I also need some relish. Evangeline. Rice wine, it's a little too mild for me. Like, I want pickles, another one of those things. I want to know I'm eating something. It is going to be acidic. It's going to be. I sort of think of rice wine vinegar as sort of like the vodka of vinegars. It, it doesn't really. It doesn't really want to be vinegar. juice chaser no thank you no dirty martinis tonight actually speaking of that though it doesn't sound bad go through those pieces of onion there too Yeah, 
Yeah, too light and meh. Um, what all am I throwing in with this? Oh, yes. Do we have a container of that open here somewhere? Guess not. I could have swore that I did, though. Hmm. I guess I'm making my own. I could have sworn I had a bunch more mail. But apparently I don't. It's not on the dry storage, is it? Like if it was unopened, it could sit over here. Like, I remember buying regular mayo. Who's troublemaker in chief, I think, is the real question. I, I don't I was implying bun buns that um I, I don't think either one of you is innocent so I mean I think it's more of a question is which one is the master troublemaker Oh, now chat's ganging up on me. This is not good.
I hate to think of Chad as my minions. I think that's demeaning. To chat. I, I mean, I wasn't brought up in the age of cute little sort of yellow um, creatures that may or may not put a better name on the word minion. Uh, I, I just sort of think of peon, lackey, underling. I, I, I don't consider it a good title. I don't know, chat disagree? Starting to get there. Starting to get there. the broad edge of broken here so give me a moment to make sure this is all incorporated before I do that battle really Ozzy I've made it on stream quite a few times at this point. I was sort of like, making mayo again. Like, I'm almost so like, I should just buy it because I've made it on stream enough times already. <laughs> nice, bun buns. Sounds yummy. Alright, let's see here. Why is this?
Easy win. Easy win. Redhead getting them kills. Bun Bun's getting the scrolls. Tiny tank. Take a look at the other stuff going on here. Quests. Ooh, goodies. Another 30 level character. Got two more to go. And I don't have cash to do the last one. Or do I? No, I don't. Or do I? All right, back to cooking. So we got our mayo starting to come together here. I'm just adding a bit more oil, small steps. And then you see how it looks broken compared to when it was smoother before I put the oil in there, that's that's when you're at sort of your limits and you need to continue to work that sort of frustrating. It doesn't all come through on the camera. But it looks much smoother after You beat it through a little bit more. Microscopically, you're suspending fat or oil in the um, proteins of the egg yolk. Probably got that part wrong, but it's more that I can see the science than I can tell you the names of it. <laughs> and now that it's nice and thick and thick, super thick, we can thin that out a bit now. Little Tabasco. Little lemon juice. And that lemon juice, more than the hot sauce, gonna instantly turn this from that somewhat yellow color into something much more white. And then it stayed mostly yellow just to spite me. Um, I think I'm good on thickening. I think we got a decent mayo there. I can make more, mix more. 
oil into that. Actually, I can mix a considerable amount more oil into this if you want to stretch this out further without using another egg. But that's not what I need it for tonight. What I need it for tonight is to make special sauce. Part of the reason I was looking at that ketchup bottle in the store today is because I knew this one was about this level. I'm realizing that I don't have organic right now too. I normally buy Heinz organic. I'm sort of confused by that one. Sort of amazing that this actually exists. I mean, think about the the audacity in business that someone we're gonna put, you know, mayo, ketchup, mustard, and relish on a burger, or we'll put pickles on the burger, and then we'll make a sauce out of mayo, ketchup, mustard, and pickles. But it's the special sauce. It's the sauce of the stuff that you already have on your burger. So we have our special sauce in all of its glory. pickles back away now that we're done with them. I've told this story before, but when I was saying you can add a lot more oil in there, I worked for a saucier chef at one point who had worked in, it was a large resort hotel. And so they had this beautiful, like it'd be the same thing as nowadays. I could just set up a, a immersion circulator bath and keep it at a perfect constant temperature but he had this like water bath, open table, hot table that was precision temperature controlled. And he could do, he used to boast that he could do 22 ounces to an egg yolk, which 22 ounces. Figure we don't need a whole head of iceberg here for our burgers or tacos.
How we doing tonight, chat? ones in chat if you're chilling. Cheers to that, Will. Don't think I've heard much of what you do for a living, Will. If you don't mind sharing with chat with cla class. What what keeps your motor going? Back to tortillas. No, we got everything else basically prepared here. I think I'm going to have to make myself a drink. Oh, well, someone's got to clean the toilets. That actually greatly interests me, but I don't want to pick your brain too much about it at the same time. So I'm just taking each of these tortillas and holding them soft side this is the side that got all the air from it drying and the soft side out and then stretching it into a ball just pulling the parts that are folded together continuously until it's almost completely solid ball put that down on the counter give that a good roll and use some force between your hand and the counter to and the friction of the counter to finish balling that up
date night. Hope you get lucky. So I'm just going to roll each of these out. And then I'm going to sear them off. Yeah, I am going to hit this counter with a little bit of flour. It's sticking too much. All right, tortillas are made. Now we gotta cook them.
don't really want an oily pan, but we do want some oil on the pan. So sprayed a bit of olive oil in there. No, while it's just warming up paper towel and just wipe it so it's a nice even layer. We just want to optimize that non-stick. Turn the fan on. tonight's stream how we do wow we're an hour and a half in Gotta start getting my butt in gear if I'm gonna be ready for TwitchCon. Alright, we got a nice hot smoking pan now. Because it's olive oil, it means we're 350-ish, 400-ish, not 500-ish like it normally is when it's smoking in that pan. Ooh, gotta get the... Tortilla container if we're doing tortillas. We'll see if I turn this down too low. Yeah, I think I turned this down a bit too low.
Again, be careful. Steam chat. Steam is not your friend when it comes to burns. That's what all those bubbles are full of. I don't know how well the bubbles are popping up on stream, but on the camera, but. Mm, 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 mm. They'd be all over the place. first one I started with the ugliest least circular one figuring first pancakes always the worst unfortunately this one's stuck to the counter These aren't sticking to the counter. see the areas that obviously need more heat than others this area down here and the area up there it's a bit thicker it's a bit raw still the center is nice and bright white and that's cooked and the same thing was going on with the the first one the edges were taking a lot longer than the center Bun Bun's getting that gold. Spreelin and Pyrify getting us our kills and assists there.
Hmm. I'm go with flag bearer. There we go, folks. Our probably last battle of the evening. Maybe. Probably. sort of treating this a little bit like a pancake uh, with the, the cooking. I'm waiting until we get bubbles coming towards the end edge. Like we got a decent one starting here and here, but one them all the way out to the edge before I flip it. But I also don't want them to develop too far. Because then it's going to give us uneven cooking on this side. So we'll quick pop some of those big ones, turn it over. And if I feel it needs a bit more color, I will do that after that. After this, with one more flip. Tuesday tacos. Still haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do on Tuesday. Like I said, I'm probably going to be seafood tacos. Um, but I'm excited for Sunday too. Sunday's going to be. And our last tortilla of the evening.
somewhat. Just cleaning it. Getting myself ready for the next step here, which is actually sort of almost the final step here. Steam is not your friend. Oh, that's what I can do. We can get this ready. Oh, by the way, folks, I bought this for another thing around home. I'm rather irked about this. I don't know if they've responded to me on Twitter now or not. But, uh... Organic cream cheese. Anyone that's familiar with buying a block of cream cheese, typically it's not like half empty. And I waited earlier. This is under six ounces with the foil much less the half pound it's supposed to be. Just put a lid on our tortillas there. Just keep them nice and warm. Tortillas. Tortillas. Yeah, I'm not, that was sort of a bummer. Usually quality control is a little bit better than something obviously underweight. The pan is still hot and staying hot. There's still a flame underneath it while I prep my cheese here.
making sure we're all the way up on that pan now. flame off on that, just letting them sit and continue to melt that lovely cheese over them. Meanwhile, over here on the cutting board, we'll start with getting our tortillas in the rack.
yeah, I'm a fan of the taco holder myself. I like my tortilla holder too. Okay, and so for each of our taco burgers, we're gonna need some lettuce. We're gonna need some special sauce. onion I did use American cheese. Welcome in. Isma Lyeth. Sorry for pronunciation there. I'm not sure. Welcome in. We're doing cheeseburger tacos tonight, and I did use standard American cheese because. I think of standard of American cheese when I think of a burger. That said, I did make some beautiful blue cheeseburgers in the last stream, so. I think it's just the style for these. A proper cheese for an old school proper cheeseburger. Yeah, I just think American. Take some photos here. We've got seven minutes until our last battle there. Actually, let's bag you up. Let's clean up our space here first. Thank you, Ozzy. sort of an on-the-fly concept came up with it laying in bed last night. Not that it's a great leap to try and combine these two staples of American cuisine.
So let's give one of these a shot. Now I've done all the photo taking and all that madness. Can this actually be eaten without falling apart completely? Mostly worried about getting those tomatoes and pickles positioned there. Pretty damn tasty. Definitely a burger flavor. Better with a potato bun. Potato roll, potato bun. Mighty tasty though. I mean, how can you go wrong with that giant piece of seared beef in the center? And as you can see here, Ozzy, I'm holding this taco over the sink. the idea, Ozzy. I wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel. I was just trying to put it on a different, I don't know, tire. I'm going to sit here and finish this just because I have nowhere I can set it down. <laughs> How can you go wrong with special sauce? especially made from scratch from homemade pickles. Nope, can't get them to come over the door. Oh well. <coughs> Let's talk about it. Spanish double fajitas. Well, this is the flavoring on the burger. Well, I did add actual taco seasoning or some of the taco seasonings that you would normally find in the burger meat before I seared it. It's actually one of the first things I did on stream today was I mixed the meat with all the seasonings. And so the meat still has a little bit of that taco essence to it, even though the rest of it is screaming, you know, burger, especially the uh, special sauce, the classical special sauce that I was making fun of because it's essentially everything you already put on a burger just mixed together. So it's like an added
But we got our last battle of the evening here in about a minute. Looking to see who's online tonight. I saw that, Ozzy. What, what ideas do you guys... I mean, how many people out there are even familiar with what horchata is? We have any big fans of horchata? For those that are of the un uninitiated, horchata is essentially a rice drink. It's it's a it's milky like, but it gets its milkiness from the starch of rice. I have to make ice cream. I have to make ice cream. I have to make ice cream. I almost feel like that's a challenge to not make ice cream. Like, the, the easy out is not what I'm trying to do. Sometimes I take it. But it's not the plan. Kiwatona? Kawatona? Panther getting her kills and assists there. Ozzy getting the scroll. You guys have no idea how funny ice cream is to me right now. But I can't explain that. So we'll leave Stream Raiders there for this evening. I got three more tacos left to eat. I'm not gonna do that on stream now. Churro sounds like a challenge. Then I might, you know, consider. Looking to see who we can spread the love with here tonight. Hmm. Interesting. Someone who was just on just must have just ended stream that I was considering hosting because I never see them on. I usually see them on before me, so I guess they did get off. Uh... Okay. I have a raid target in mind now.
All right, folks. I'm going to send all you lovely people off to go hang out with probably hooligans who are a group of people. You're going to see a stream with anywhere from like six to eight or nine people playing D&D. Old school D&D. I hope you enjoy hanging out with them. It's another chill stream that I think you can relax in. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me tonight. Sort of a fun... Uh, off the wall or oddball recipe tonight just having fun with making tacos uh, gonna be doing tacos the rest of the week I hope you come back to join me for the rest of that uh, Sunday's gonna be I hope you check out Sunday have a great night everyone hope to see you again soon good night <laughs>